Good morning and welcome to a wonderful Wednesday. We are here for our weekly read aloud and today we are in a super cool location. Today, Just Us and Books is having the wonderful opportunity of reading in channel four. Pretty cool, huh? I have two very special guests with me, Miss Zoe and JJ. We are so excited to have them here as our special guests, and we are going to go ahead and jump right into our reading. Read aloud. You guys ready? Yeah. You ready, JJ? Mm -hmm. All right. JJ, what's the name of our book? The Big Cheese. The Big Cheese. The name of our story is called The Big Cheese, and you might be familiar with this book and this author because we've read a couple from Jory, John, and Pete Oswald. The Big Cheese. And the other connection to this is the Olympics. The Olympics will be going on starting on Friday. And this story is talking about winning, but also being okay with losing. The Big Cheese. Here we go. Zoe, are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. They call me Cheese, the Big Cheese. Oh, say it with me, please. The, the big, big cheese. cheese. You better believe it. <laughs> That's right, folks. I'm the biggest, cheesiest piece of cheddar around. I'm really something to behold. Take a good look at me. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Hmm. Have you ever observed a more impressive cheese in your life? It's not just my stature either. It's my presence, my vibe, the energy I emulate, the excitement I exude. It's the way I fill a room, or a theater, or a stadium. You like that one? Yeah. Wherever I go, I cause a fuss. Heads turn, jaws drop, gasped. That's why they call me cheese oh say it with me please cheese. the big, big cheese. cheese you better believe it <laughs> how did i get such a good or should i say gouda reputation well i wasn't always a big shot i grew up on a crowded platter in a tiny kitchen i was an unremarkably little curd we live quiet lives of pasteurization. But I wasn't happy with the status quo. Oh no. I wanted to make a big old name for myself. So I resolved to become a big cheese. I wanted the praise, the cheers, the spotlight, the attention, the ovations, the celebrations. I set to work and before long, I was on the fast track to success. I dressed to impress. I shredded the competition. I stole every shot. And then I'd grant nonstop to anybody who'd listen. Hey, did you see me score that goal while I was literally yawning? What was the secret to my success? Well, I stuck to the things I was good at. That way, I couldn't possibly fail. Did it get a little boring? Never trying anything new? Hmm, I suppose. But it didn't matter as long as everyone agreed that I was. You ready? Oh, say it with me, please. The Big Cheese. But then, one day, I met Wedge. He was new in town, and he seemed to be my exact opposite in every way. He was quiet. I was loud. He was shy. I was bold. While I dominated conversations, he kept himself. I didn't pay much attention at first, because why would I? I was too preoccupied with being the center of my universe. But then, without warning, everything changed. Uh-oh. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Here's what happened. You ready? Yeah. Every summer, our tiny village staged an all-day cheese cathalon. Guess who had first place trophies from the last six years? Who do you think? 
The big cheese. The big, big cheese. cheese, yes. Oh, say it with me. The big, big cheese. cheese. You better believe it. This year's opening ceremony started at 5 a.m. sharp. I was fully primed and prepared to prevail. First up was a foot race, and I zipped into the lead. Within seconds, though, there was someone on my heels. I could hear his breath, the pitter-patter of his agile feet. It was Wedge. I could not believe it. Oh, he was fast. Not just fast, but skill, discipline. He paced himself. We were neck and neck for most of the race. But when I slipped on a pebble, Wedge swerved, sped up, and beat me by a nose. A cheese nose. Uh-oh. Who won? <laughs> yes, the Wedge won. It For the first came. time, what happened? That came on. It came on. Yes, it did. For the first time, I come in second place. But there was no time to sulk because the next leg of the competition had already started. It was a game of chess. Before I could blink or think, Wedge had taken my king in four moves. And while I was busy protesting to the judges, he had already moved yeah. on. What are they doing? What are they doing? The following events were a blur for loss after loss after humiliating loss and hat making, sheep herding, and look at He's spreading butter on the bread. Yeah, can't. He, he won. He's spreading butter. He won. <laughs> it turned out that Wedge was quietly excellent at everything. Even when he won, though, he didn't gloat. He was so humble. It was odd. It was disconcerting. It was absolutely baffling. Finally, I watched in dismay as Wedge trounced me one last time and the day came to a bitter end. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Well, bitter for me at least, I went through every possible emotion. Ah! Arr, no! Boo! Wah! Until I finally exhausted myself. And as I lay in the muck, I heard a thunderous voice making the dreaded announcement. First place goes to newcomer Wedge Wedgeman. He's the winner? Or is he the loser? Yeah, he lost. The crowd roared its approval. Uh-oh. The big cheese didn't win anything. Uh -oh. Let's see how he handles it. He gotta be bigger, son. He has to be bigger. Mm -hmm. What had just happened? It was honestly hard to fathom. I closed my eyes. Suddenly, I felt a sense of calm come over me. I listened to my breathing, to the steady beating of my heart. Yes, I had lost again and again and again, but after all, I actually felt okay, relieved even. I suddenly knew that my world wasn't going to crumble. I picked myself up, I dusted myself off, and I headed home. Before too long, I spotted Wedge. He wasn't busy celebrating or bragging. He was just watching the street go by. Yeah. He looked content. There's the Wedge. We chatted for a bit. It turned out that Wedge had a fascinating life story. I found myself getting caught up in a great conversation. A conversation that wasn't all about me. <laughs> that day, I realized something special. Maybe it didn't matter if I wasn't the best at everything. In fact, perhaps it was healthy for me to lose every once in a while. And sure, my ego was bruised in the short term. Mm -hmm. He was winning. But over time, I gained some perspective on what's yeah. really important. He, won. he was winning. Yeah. Losing taught me empathy and humility. It showed me that I'd become so focused on winning that I was missing out on the joy of participating. Yep. And it helped me see that I can live with defeat. Even if I get a little bit angry and frustrated at first, 
it's going to be okay. These days, I'm trying not to worry about whether I win or lose. I don't have to impress everyone at all the time. I let others have the spotlight. And I've taken up some new hobbies just for me. What's he doing? Is he bowling? No. What's he doing? It. Uh-oh. It is a bowl. <laughs> Yes, I'm trying to be a better wheel of cheddar. So now when I brag about something, well, I mostly brag about my friends. Whoa, did you see that? What a move. Yeah. Yeah, because it turns out that anyone from a crumb of gargonzola to a fleck of feta to an unassuming wedge of brie can be... Hmm, what can it be? Everybody can be... Oh, say it with me, please. The big, big cheese. cheese. You better believe it. The end. Yay! All right, I do hope you enjoyed our read aloud for today. You ready? Just us and, and books. books.